29 Fagun 2044 became Sambat or 12 Mars 1988 AD, the day 93 footballer fans lost their lives at Dostrat Stadium. The Dostrat Stadium disaster occurred on 12 Mars 1988 at the Dostrat Stadium in Kathmandu, Nepal during a soccer match between Janakpur Secret Factory Limited and Liberation Army of Bangladesh for 1988 Trivon Challenge Sale. 93 people were killed and 100 more were injured when attempting to flee from a hailstorm inside the National Dostrat Rangasala Stadium. Despite the huge loss of life and hundreds of fans being injured, the autocratic government of Nepal at that time said the fans were at the stadium by their own choice and the government played no part in causing the catastrophe. After the disaster, Minister for Education and Culture Kesab Bahadur Bista and President of All Nepal Football Association Kamal Thapa resigned. The Dostrat Stadium with a capacity of 30,000 football fans was packed with football fans on 29 Fagun 2044 or 12 March 1988. It was cloudy and cold that day. The rising Nepal had not forecasted any inclement weather for the Kathmandu Valley that day. Partly cloudy with temporary thunder sour reached the weather forecast. It was 3.20 pm when the game started, 20 minutes after the scheduled time. In the 17th minute, the Bangladeshi team scored. Around 3.50 pm, merely 2 minutes after the Bangladeshi side scored, all eyes turned into the sky. Large tree branches being blown towards the stadium from army headquarters to the north of the stadium. Torrential rain suddenly began to pour, accompanied by thick hell. All the players ran to take refuse below the VIP parapet. Meanwhile, up on the roofless terrace, people were left at the mercy of a powerful storm. People covered their head with their jackets. The hell was so large and thick that everything went blinding white. Before anyone could sound a warning, 80 km per hour winds began blowing, accompanied by thick hailstorm. Trees began to get uprooted, roofs flew off and poles fell. Large pellets of hell pelted the uncovered audience at the stadium, unleashing a state of pandemonium as screaming specters rushed towards the exits. Immediately after it started to rain, people were starting to leave their seats to look for cover. But when hell began to pour, panic ensued and everyone rushed all at once towards the southern gate, the same gate they had entered through. People rushed to the southern gate. Others broke through the barbed wire and attempted to escape. In the chaos, people waiting outside the gate attempted to get in. Some of the people fell to the ground, others got pressed in the crowd. Panic was all around and there was no way anyone could do anything. Things got worse when the police attempted to intervene. Just as people had started to move, police personnel arrived asking them to stay in their own place. But there was no stopping anyone. People moved and the police began to bat on charge them. This only added to the chaos and panic. However, given how hard the hail was battering and how cold it was, people started to move again and eventually run. The crowd surged towards the only cover, the west stand, but were beaten back by the police. They then returned to the south terrace where a cross developed in a tunnel exit through the terrace. The crowd could not escape because the stadium doors were locked, causing a fatal cross at the front. What added to the chaos was the fact that the police restarted to a baton charge when the crowd was already panicked. People started jumping about in a state of panic without thinking if they were really going towards the center. But the doors were locked and the panic led to stampede. People trying to get out of the stadium started running and panicking. Lots of people got trapped in the stampede and were trampled to death. Sleepers and shoes of the dead and injured lay scattered all over. The official death toll stands at 70, but unofficial figure said that 93 people died. The disaster made international headlines as one of the largest stadium disasters globally. Within hours of the incident, then Prime Minister Marich Man Singh formed a one-man fact-finding investigation commission comprising Vaira Prasad Lamsal, a judge at the Central Regional Court. 
The government also announced rupees 10,000 in compensation to the family of the deceased and rupees 2,000 to the injured. Minister Bista and Kamal Thapa, President of All Nepal Football Association ANFA, resigned on moral grounds. Sarat Chandra Saha, Chair of National Sports Council, resigned only after mounting pressure. Home Minister Niranjan Thapa called the strategy a Bhabi Tabya or a work of destiny and so unavoidable. Nor did the government publicly hold itself accountable for the disaster. A lack of responsibility by the government only fed the people anger at the disaster which they saw as being largely man-made. Lock gates, lack of emergency plans, baton charge by the police, substandard infrastructure, overall mismanagement by the Nepal Sports Council and ANFA had caused this disaster. If the gate was open, there was no way that this incident would have happened. Public outrage ran high after the stampede at Dostra Stadium, especially when State Minister Tapa called this incident an event destined to happen. Personally, I believe the stadium's locked door and the police pattern charge were the two major causes for the stampede and the ensuing deaths. Therefore, that incident was not destined to happen. The only destined is the hailstorm that occurred that day. The finding of the investigation committee Victims, witnesses, and newspaper reports from the day all agree, all pointing out that good management and proper infrastructure could largely have averted the tragedy. Much attention was also paid to the fact that the weather forecast for the day had gone horribly wrong. Not a single person would have died if all the doors of the stadium were open and if the police had not restored to baton charge. Thank you.